Hello, my name is Eduardo Garcia. I'm a student at Texas A&M International University studying engineering. And today I'm going to show you how to create and edit a spline. So first you want to begin by choosing spline itself. Now a spline is a line with tangible points. I'm going to show you. You can find it here in the upper left corner in the drop down menu under spline fit or you can type in spline. Both will give the same effect, I mean using the same tool. So you click your beginning point and you choose your next points and like you see the line will change depending on where you want your next point to be. To be good you press enter and now there you now you have created a spline and next we will edit the spline and you click the line anywhere once the left click you see these points come up and this will let you actually alter the position still so once you still create the line you can still change it to how you want and this will you click on this one you can actually change it to control vertices. And now that you notice, it's almost the same, but now when you move, it only moves as a section at a time, not the whole line, as you can see. And you can still stretch it out. The stretch points, when you click the ends, it still works the same with the end points. Still the same. So now let's right click and go back. I'm sorry, left click and go back to fit points and now we move again see how the whole line wants to move now you can also do is right click once the line is clicked and there's a spline to area and you see you have these two again and you can also add fit points and fit kinks to add a fit point so first you choose an existing fit point the ends and you can extend the line continuously and the line will still continue to change. Enter when you're done. Enter. These are extra options, but for the this video we'll go over the basics, so you can ignore this for now. And this one too. Left click again, you see, we'll see we have all the points, including the add points. And we can right click and you can do the same thing when you're under when you're under control vertices you can also add more as well see we have all these points now still right click click once you can move it to wherever you want now we go back to fit points and you can do something called add fit kink. This is the same thing as extending it except now you can you see this little X you can add points to wherever you like in case you want the line to be thus more tangible. Right click when you're finished exit exit again and now we have all these extra points you can move. And if you just want to take it another level, you can convert to polyline. Specify precision, we'll do one. So one. And now you can see all these are filled with fit points. And there you have it. That is how you create and edit a spline. Thank you for watching.